What's up guys, Shane aka Musty Ed here. Today's gonna be another quick video where we take a look at a couple of products from UTG Leapers. If you guys have uh, followed my channel, you've seen me review a couple of their rails in the past, to which I'm a huge fan of. If you guys are interested in seeing that review and seeing my thoughts, uh, click on one of these uh, videos up here in the corner, I'm not sure which one. Um, but if you guys are in the market, I highly suggest you pick one of their rails up. You will not be disappointed, trust me. Um, I'll also leave a link to their website in the description box below if you want to click on that and check them out too. But today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of their uh, butt stocks. Now these are very different from one another but offer a lot. Let's get these things on the table here, show them a little bit closer up, talk about them in more detail. Let's get it started. Guys, here's a closer look at the two butt stocks offered by UTG Leapers. Now, I've had both of these installed on my R at some point or another for hundreds of rounds. Uh, both of these are very different from one another, but offer a lot at a very low price point. Uh, let's first start with the uh, big guy here. Let's get him out of the way. Just center it up. This is the UTG Pro Model 4 Ops Ready S1 stock. Now this stock can be picked up off their website for around 40 bucks. Now that's a pretty low price when you consider what this stock offers. Uh, first you guys might notice the overall shape and design, especially up here at the front with this protruding section up here. Uh, when this stock is fully collapsed, it matches the lines of the lower receiver perfectly and becomes almost one with the uh, lower receiver. While that feature guys is purely aesthetic, I really do like the look of it. It's something you don't see in a lot of other stocks and makes it unique to UTG Leapers. Now keep in mind if you're running some sort of uh, QDM play back here at the end of your receiver like I am, you're going to lose that function, but it's still cool nonetheless. Next you guys might notice this really large cheek rest, which is very, very comfortable. Uh, the angle and surface area feels great and I have zero complaints there. At the end of the cheek rest here guys, you're going to see some really large rubber caps. I'll get a close up so you guys can check it out in better detail. When these things are installed, it forms a watertight seal and gives you a compartment here that you can uh, use to obviously store anything you want. Um, but they are capable of holding six CR123 batteries, which is amazing. Like everything UTG Leaper produces, we have uh, chamfered edges across everything, uh, which is really important when it comes to uh, areas where your face is in constant contact with the product. Uh, speaking of comfort, you have a big rubber beefy butt pad back here uh, with some texture on the back to help secure this thing when it's in your shoulder. Now for sling mounting options, they've gone ahead and included a couple options here. You have a QD and a sling loop. Uh, so you guys can do what you want. Um, in regards to the uh, QD mount, it is detachable and reversible, so it can be moved to either side for ambidextrous mounting options. Uh, the sling lube is located at the bottom of the stock here, so it can easily be used by a left or right hand shooter as well. It is constructed of high impact resistant polymer, and for those of you who are curious, it is made right here in the USA. For those of you watching your weight and counting ounces, this stock might not be for you. This sucker weighs in at 12 ounces, which is good for what the stock is about, and slim and sleek, isn't it? The larger weight in the back of the rifle is really nice when you have a really long, heavier rail. It really does help balance your rifle and helps you lock that stock into your shoulder for quicker transitions. As for my personal thoughts on the stock, I like it. Um, I've enjoyed my entire shooting experience with the stock, went out at the range. It really does offer a lot at a really low price. Um, I am running a commercial tube with this, so there's a little bit of wiggle room there uh, when I'm shooting. Uh, but I'm sure if you guys are running a mil spec uh, buffer tube with that option, you'd be just fine. If you guys are looking for a stock with tons of features, I would definitely check out this one from UTG Leapers. Now let's get on to the little guy here. Move this one up here. I'll keep it in frame so you guys can see how small this thing really is. All right, now this little guy is the UTG Pro Model 4 Ops Ready 3 stock. Um, as you guys can see, this is a super sleek, slim stock when compared to the S1 stock up here above. Uh, this sucker is bare bones, and for those of you very conscious of size and weight, it only weighs seven ounces, which is really, really light. While it's small, it still has a few really cool features that definitely make it worth picking up. Uh, this can be purchased off their website for about 35 bucks, so an even better price than its bigger brother. Again, this is constructed from a high impact resistant strength polymer. It's small, but still really, really comfortable. It has a uh, slated cheek rest, which makes it very comfortable to shoot and pretty decent rubberized uh, butt pad back here at the back. Just like before with the bigger brother, the pad has a uh, distinct pattern, which allows you to lock this stock into your shoulder a little bit better. Again, we have similar uh, sling attachment options, 
We have a detachable QD sling point, which can be moved and flipped either side for ambidex ambidextrous sling attachment point. And just like before, there is a sling loop here, which can be used by left or right-handed shooters easily. Next, I wanted to make sure I discuss the uh, latch on the sucker. I love how this lever becomes just one with the stock uh, when it's not being used. UTG Leapers also took their time to chamfer all the edges just like before and make this a truly snag-free stock. And just like its bigger brother, it's made right here in the USA. This stock I've really enjoyed shooting as well, guys, but it's for entirely different reasons. This thing is small, thin, sleek, and lightweight. My AR just seems faster when the stock is installed, as it should when compared to the bigger brother. This stock just keeps it simple, and I like simple. All in all, guys, another product worth checking out if you're in the market for a stock. One thing I want to make sure I mention is that Leapers UTG offers both of these stocks as a kit which includes the stock, buffer tube, buffer, buffer spring, end plate, and castle nut. Uh, the Pro Model 4 Ops Ready S1 kit is about 75 bucks, and the Pro Model uh, 4 Ops S3 stock is about 63 bucks. So you can easily hit up their website and do a quick one-stop shop for everything on the butt end of your rifle. After checking out these two stocks, guys, I can say that Leapers UTG has a couple of excellent products that hit the spot. Like I mentioned before, if you guys are interested uh, and have the time, I recommend you check out their website because they really do have a lot of cool stuff, especially their handguards. I also wanted to make sure I mentioned I'm currently testing their uh, new Mlock rail system, which I'm loving so far, and also some of their rail covers and risers. Um, I'll be sure to annotate those uh, somewhere on screen here once those videos are done, if you guys want to check those out. Uh, but guys, that about wraps it up. If you guys found this video informative, I'd appreciate it if you uh, hit the like button. If you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe. As usual, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.